Hello, I'm Lily, I'm Group Sales Manager, and today I'm in conversation with Eve, introducing you all to the world of deliveries. At Eve, we love that all of our spaces have their own unique story to tell, and that really is what unites our portfolio of iconic venues. Within our portfolio, there's a cluster of venues who do have a few things in common when it comes to their history and purpose, and that is our livery venues. I'm here in the City of London, which you may also know as the Square Mile, a nickname that dates all the way back to the Roman settlement called Londinium, which although was not exactly one square mile, it was close enough for the nickname to stick. There's nowhere quite like the city. Not only is it the oldest, most historic part of London, but it's also a leading international financial and business centre. The City of London has so much of its history intertwined with the livery companies who played a key role in the development of the city. Many of the livery companies set up headquarters in large houses or halls, becoming a meeting place for trading. Although many were destroyed in the Great London Fire and during World War II, just under 40 halls still remain. And you may notice as you walk around the city, there are plaques which show you where a livery hall once stood. So what actually are livery companies? So each livery company is associated with the craft of their trade and there are more than 100 livery companies. So for example, you've got the Brewers Company, Brewing, Goldsmith, Gold, and back in the day they controlled the manufacture and selling of most goods and services in the square mile. So livery companies were your way into trading in the city and becoming a master of your trade. So the livery companies still play a really important role within their communities, with their focus shifting even further towards the training and educational side of their work. They all have a really strong ethos on supporting trade, education and charity within their field. And whilst livery companies stem from traditional crafts, they are evolving too. So who knows who could be the next livery company? The current halls continue to be used by their livery members, but they're also available for event hire too. They really are hidden treasures within the square mile, rich with history and offering the most impressive settings to host truly memorable events. And what I love is that a proportion of profits from the livery companies go towards their philanthropic endeavours, making them an even more appealing option. So I mentioned the Roman settlement called Londinium earlier and the Romans literally built a wall around their city of London and some of the London Wall still remains. The garden which backs onto Plasterous Hall is fortunate enough to have access to this so you can't get much closer to the original city. To kickstart our insight into the liveries I've chosen none other than the largest city livery hall in the city of London, Plasterous Hall. The Plasterers Company haven't had the best luck with their halls, as many have been destroyed, so this is the fourth hall that Plasterers Company have had, but it certainly is set to impress. Opened in 1972, situated near Barbican and St Paul's, it has decor throughout of the neoclassical style created by Robert Adam in the 18th century. We've recently had a new reception area renovated, so as you step in away from the busy city, you're starting to get a taste for what the hall has to offer. The intricacy of the plaster work around the venue, maintained to an impeccable standard, combined with the impressive chandeliers in the Great Hall, makes Plasterers Hall so special. The grand space is ideal for events where you're looking to leave a lasting impression, whether that be a wedding which we are licensed for, or perhaps a corporate event. There's a variety of different size spaces all interconnected, so transitions between each space are seamless. It's a really popular space for awards and corporate dinners and parties, first of all because of the location as it's so well connected, but also inside it is so impressive and you have the entire venue exclusively to yourself, with the ability to have a big production if you want to as well, with hidden in-house rigging that drops down from the ceiling, ideal for those awards and filming events that require additional AV. I hope that's given you a bit of an insight into the world of the liveries and the wonderful Plasterous Hall. I've loved being in conversation with Eve today and I hope to see you soon.